Hey guys, it's Jen with Card Zen by Jen. Um, for those that don't know me, my name is Jennifer Blashak. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in central Pennsylvania. If I can ever be of any service to you, please reach out to me and let me know. Um, today we are going to be working on a five minute Manic Monday card. Right now, I am into fancy folds. Uh, my upcoming Sip and Stamp on June 4th in Clearfield, Pennsylvania is all about fancy folds. So today, this is what popped into my little old head. Um, I hope you like it. It is super easy and it really is, yes, a five minute card. It's gonna take me a little bit longer to walk you through the steps, but really truthfully, once you have it down, this is a five minute creation. You can whip out a bunch of these really fast. Let me introduce you to the key players for today. We are gonna be using the Circle Sayings. Now the Circle Sayings bundle comes with this punch. This punch is, I believe, I wanna say a two inch. It could be bigger than that. Let me see here. No, it is a two and a half inch circle. Um, so it's a really big circle, but I love punches. Um, They're so easy to use. Actually, it says two and three eighths inch circle. Well, close enough. Um, but they are so easy to use. It's easier than kind of getting out your embossing machine and doing some die cuts for circles. So I love punches where I can use them. And today is all about um, the circle sayings and the punches. I am going to add in, graduation is upon us, so I am going to add in the beautiful balloons um, because I do want to use the you did it and the balloon and the tie stamps out of this stamp set. We are also going to be using the DSP, the 6x6 bright and beautiful DSP that comes that you can get with the beautiful balloon suite. Um, this paper is so versatile. There's so many different designs in here. Again, they are front and back. So there are lots of options. Um, and I'm finding, finding myself using this uh, paper more and more. So let's start making our card. The first thing that we're gonna do is my card base is Daffodil Delight. So let's move some of this other stuff out of my way bring in our paper cutter. So we are going to be cutting our Daffodil Delight and we're going to cut this to five and a half in length. So now I have two pieces enough for another card. You should always be making two cards. So the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fold this in half. So I'm going to fold it in half and then crease it with my bone folder. Okay. So now it's just like a regular card base, right? We are going to put it back. Let me get my inks out of my way here so that you can see this. I'll move this down a little bit so that you can see this better. So again, we knew that this was, so this to my crease should be five, four and a quarter, right? So I'm gonna go to four and a quarter so that my crease that I already made is lined up with where my cutting blade is going to be. Move my cutting blade to the top. I'm gonna cut down two and three quarters. So what I'm gonna do I'm going to stick my finger right at that two and three quarters. Come down, cut it. I'm going to stop at that two and three quarters. Okay. Now I'm going to come in from the other side and I'm going to come up because I want to cut down two and three quarters, right? So let's take this to two and three quarters. I'm gonna put my finger down here. We're gonna cut the whole way down to the crease that we made for our card. There we go. Hopefully that worked. Yay, it did. All right, super. 
take this piece and use it as a scrap piece for later. Now, the other thing that we're gonna do is we are going to pick our designer series paper. Now I used, let's see what I can find in here. I used these stars and I used, oh, I don't know what I used. Seemed like so long ago. I used this, okay? So this also has stars. Again, this is double-sided. This has stars on the other side of it. If you like these colors better and you wanna use these stars, this is so mix and match. You can do whatever you wanna do. Now that inside piece that I used was that really light yellow, the lemon lolly color, and it was the stars. And now I lost them, but they're here somewhere. Oh, come now. Oh, there they are, right there. All right, I'm going to pull out a piece that I have already punched a hole out of, my circle out of, but let's cut our DSP while we're in here. And I'm gonna cut this to four inches wide and five and a quarter. Remember, it's all about the quarter inches, right? So when you're doing a matting, we know that this is five and a half, this is four and a quarter. Subtract a quarter of an inch on each side and then you have the perfect matting. Set this aside for a second. Now, our blue piece, we are also gonna do four inches wide I am gonna cut this to, that piece is two and three quarters, so I wanna do this at two and a half. And set aside your pieces. All right, so we have that taken care of. Um, we are gonna need a piece of white um, for the inside. So this is gonna be the piece of white that I want for the inside, though I want this to be three and three fourths wide and two and a half high. There we go. All right, so I think we are done with our trimmer. Set that aside. We're gonna bring back, I'm gonna put some of this together now just to get it done and out of the way. So let's bring in our glue. Hope everybody had a nice Mother's Day yesterday. We are in, um, here in central Pennsylvania. It's a beautiful day, absolutely gorgeous. Hope your Monday's not being too terrible for you. All right, so I'm gonna glue down that inside piece and then on the front, we are going to, and again, you can mix and match this DSP, this designer series paper, any way you want to. So versatile. But I really like the idea of stars and balloons for graduation. I think those are pretty, any kind of celebration really. All right, so that is taken care of. The next thing that we are going to do, we're not gonna do this yet. Let's go ahead and cut our circle. So you're gonna take your punch, you're gonna put your paper in from the bottom and punch that. Now my inside piece, my inside circle, I want to use these pretty, pretty stars. There you go. So we have that taken care of and we'll set our punch aside. You ready to do some stamping? After all, that's where the fun is, right? Okay, so we are gonna be stamping with these clear stamps. What did I do with that? There we go. And when we stamp with the clear stamps, it really is better if you have your uh, pierce mat 
um, behind it, it just kind of gives just a better, a better stamp image. So if you have one of those, grab it. Excuse my reach. I am so sorry. All right. So we are going to use that celebrate. It's celebrate, three celebrates in a circle. I'm going to use blueberry bushel. Who else is extremely happy that they brought blueberry bushel back? I think the only, I'm not even sure. I was thinking about this the other day. The, which color I'm sad that they got rid of, but I'm not really sure. I think they did a great job in picking the colors right now. So we are going to do this in blueberry bushel. There you go. And clean off my stamp and set that aside. And now for the inside, I would like to do inside of the circle, I want to do the small balloon. So we're going to use this balloon right here. Again, I'm using a clear stamp. And this time I'm going to use real red. I don't know why I like red balloons. I think it has something to do with my Stephen King obsession when I was growing up. And the movie It. All right, so I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna put this on my on my um, card so that the celebrate is perfectly aligned right there. So I wanna do my balloon a little bit at an angle. You do not have to do it this way. You can do it any way you like. But make sure for your balloons, make sure that you do get them good and inked. I'm gonna do it a little bit at an angle here. There we go. You can see I got a little bit of a white, but that's gonna be okay. And I'll show you why in just a second. Now, I'm gonna bring in my Memento, my Tuxedo Black Memento ink. Get this out of the way. And let's grab the string for the balloon. Grab another block. And we're going to do that in the black. And I'm just going to kind of bring it out here, the side. Oops, sorry about that. There you go. What do you think? So remember I said that little spot, don't worry about it. I am going to bring in my Stampin' Blends, and it's going to be the color lifter. I love this thing. So I want to create just a little bit of lightness on this balloon anyway, just to kind of, there. You see that? There you go. So just to give it some a little bit of a highlight there. You do not have to do that, but if you have a color lifter, use it. Use it, use it. All right, so the next thing that we are gonna do is we are going to stamp the You Did It on the other circle. Um, once I find it, there we go. You did it. Let's pick this up. I'm going to do this in the blueberry bushel. And I'm just going to put this right in the middle. There you go. All right. So the last thing that I want to do is while I have my inks out, I do want to stamp, if you can see on the inside, I do want to stamp my balloon here on the inside. So while I have my inks out before I put them away, let's just go ahead and get that taken care of. My husband went fishing and my dog is in mourning because he did not take her along. So I apologize in advance if you hear her making any kind of a ruckus because she's just sad that she was left home alone with me, but that's okay. She hasn't learned to enjoy these moments yet where 
you can be home by yourself and get a lot of crafting done. All right, so I'm gonna add my string. There we go. All right, so let's start to assemble this after I put my inks away. If you watch my videos, you know that I am notorious for sticking my fingers in the inks. Last week, I think I actually dropped the sweet sorbet, caught it in midair, but managed to get sweet sorbet all over my fingers. So let's not do that again. All right, let's start to assemble. I am going to take my color lifter again and still have that white spot. I have to figure out what's causing that. We are going to put your basic white piece once we get the glue to work. I'm actually seeing my mom today instead of yesterday. I've been running so much for the last two weeks that I just didn't feel like getting in the car and driving again for Mother's Day, so I, I stayed home. But I'm gonna see my mom tonight, which will be nice. I like to think that I got a lot of my craftiness from her side of the family. So what we're gonna do, let me put the, let me, let me show you this because we're gonna do this the easy way. So we are going to put these circles together. I'm gonna show you on the done one. Put the circles together, but we are only gonna put glue at the top of the circles. So I'm gonna have it this way because I like to have that celebrate. So glue at the top of the circles. Make sure that it's lined up correctly. You know on camera is where you end up messing this up, right? There we go. I can do it perfectly correct 15 times and then start the camera rolling and suddenly it won't be anymore. Oops, there you go. I really did it, didn't I? There we go. All right, so you have glue at the top of your circle. You do not have glue at the bottom of your circle. So now we can take the bottom of our circle, just add a little bit of glue. It doesn't take a lot. It really doesn't, just a little bit. And on that bottom flap there, you're gonna come right in and adhere it where you want to. How easy is that? Now you can add some gems, you can add some ribbon, um, you can add whatever you would like to add to this card. Again, the DSP is two-sided. Switch it around, change it up. I will um, be posting this with a couple of other options and maybe some stepped up versions as well. But again, this is my five minute card for this Monday. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I will see you back next Monday for another five minute Manic Monday card. Thanks for stamping.